We're in the car with Josh Wright, uh, front man for our local band, Bear Medicine. Um, Josh, uh, how, first of all, how would you describe Bear Medicine's music? I've always kind of said uh, melodic southern folk rock, but that feels in, like that doesn't feel like enough. What would you say? Okay, well, we've always called it uh, astral folk, for lack of a better astral folk. That's good. You know, terminology, but. You know, I think uh, I think all those things you said kind of hit on it pretty but, well. But it's kind of sure. kind of heady, kind of spiritual. Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so but great music, uh, fantastic stuff, very melodic. Uh, but Josh and I would both probably Josh and I have a lot in common. First of all, both love local music, uh, both love comics, which is kind of becoming a reoccurring theme on the show, and then we also both love food. Uh, I think we'd probably both describe ourselves as ambitious home chefs, but Josh actually works in the restaurant industry here in Lexington and has uh, been on been a line cook at Middle Fork Kitchen Bar and is currently a line cook at County Club. And as far as Lexington goes, that's a pretty strong pedigree. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you love about food in Lexington? I don't know. I was actually talking to... Uh... Beth Walker today from Blind Corn Liquor Pickers. I didn't realize we're working this prep shift together on Thursdays now, but uh, we were just talking about, you know, people get kind of uptight, I feel like, in kitchens sometimes, yeah. and uh, it's understandable. It's a stressful environment and everything, but like really what food's all about is like everybody's sitting down and being happy and sharing something, like sharing their day with each other, whatever, and eating a meal and, you know, being a line cook, being a prep cook, like working in a restaurant, all of that is just like an aid to hopefully someone having a nice relaxing time or just it's like bringing somebody to your house i don't know I just so you're, love you're it. facilitating yeah. people just kind of relaxing yeah just taking it easy and i mean you know food is one of the best ways to get people to talk to smile to laugh you know Josh and I just got done eating in Sagano's. We were going to record while we ate, but it just didn't feel right to do that. There's kind of a very quiet, respectful vibe in there. Yes, exactly. And it would have been kind of awkward, I think, for us to do that. So we decided right. we decided to just eat and enjoy ourselves. Yes. And then uh, recap afterwards. Yeah. So post-game analysis, how was your meal? It was really, really delicious. It was really delicious. I was uh, I got the uh, the chef's choice, which is what I usually get. Um, just let Mr. Sagano pick it out for me. Tell you what's good. Yeah, the menu is decently large here, and I get bogged down in that kind of stuff, so I feel like, you know, he knows what he's doing, so I'd rather just, you know, have what he wants to give me. What's great about their menu, like, yeah, they have sushi, which is great, but then they actually have Japanese cuisine, a large selection of it. Right. And much like a Waffle House, there's pictures of everything in the menu. Right. So if you feel confused or out of your depth, Got a you reference can look point. at the picture. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also got the chef special, but I specifically said I wanted to have Toro with it. Toro is fatty tuna, and uh, Toro, as prepared by Mr. Sagano, is my death row meal. Yeah, like that's what. If I know I'm gonna die, I want to I have his fatty tuna uh, prepared with. You. Sometimes he'll do wasabi and a little bit of coarse sea salt on top of it. Yeah, he didn't do that this time, but it is the best thing I've ever eaten. And we talked about over dinner that, you know, people always say the key to good sushi is the rice. Yeah. That the fish should need to be, needs to be fresh or not, but or it just needs to be good fish. But most importantly, the rice needs to be prepared well. Yeah. And I, I never understood that until I came here. Yeah. And when you come here and you eat, you taste the rice, you're like, oh, yeah, this doesn't taste like every sushi rice I've ever had. Right. And it's not some sushi rice in places it's like so glutinous and it's all like it's stuck together in a bad way. This is like those nice individual grains that you can like feel each one in between your teeth. I love it. So good. So if you like sushi or you think you like sushi, uh, you need to come here. If, if the only sushi you've ever had is like Malone's yeah, or Aqua, yeah. what's it called? Yeah. Aqua, yeah. Like you're not doing it right. <laughs> if, if that's your impression of sushi, you've not had sushi, you need to come here. What, what can we expect from Bear Medicine in the future? 
or if somebody's not familiar with the band, give us a primer. Yeah, totally. Um, forever we've been doing um, this four-piece band, uh, just kind of like this, you know, well, we said astral folk earlier. It's kind of a, you know, just weird, spacey, folk, rocky, whatever, but uh, kind of taking a new direction this year. Um, and we've always done instrumental music, but we're like really diving headlong into instrumental music right now. So expect hopefully within the next year to have a fully instrumental album that I've been cooking up over the past few months. Awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited. So uh, you don't see you don't see a lot of that in our scene, so that's uh, that's Yeah, great. no, it makes me nervous, but I'm really excited. <laughs> I am that's, excited and nervous. That's not what I meant, but <laughs> yeah. I understand. <laughs> no, no. Uh, Awesome. Well, man, this has been uh, a really good night. I think. Yeah, I had we, a great time. You guys missed a lot of conversation. We covered a lot of topics, uh, religion, uh, music, people we know. Yeah, food, obviously. Food, Lots obviously. Of food yeah. uh, what? So, uh, chef, like I said, have a good pedigree around town. What's your favorite place to eat? God, I mean, Cigano's. Well, so, you know, <laughs> like that—that that is definitely top tier. I don't know. There's. It depends on what kind of food, really. Like, I love Stella's. I love Stella's dinner. The lunch is good. I love going to dinner at Stella's. I really do. I work at County Club, but that was me and my fiance's date night before you know I started working there. You know, it's right, like right. every time that we go, it's amazing. It's awesome. Uh, I don't know. Uh, a BC. Well. Seki behind Dong Yang Market. Seki is great. In Dong Yang Market. Uh, that is, you can get a bowl of tonkatsu ramen for seven fifty, I think. That's pretty damn good. It's a good day. So, yeah, for sure. All right, man. Yeah. Thank you, brother. Thanks, Patch.